Hi, I'm Billy from Infinity Greens, and I just wanted to show you a new recipe that I've been really excited about and enjoying, and it is simply almond milk. There's been a buzz about almond milk for a long time just because it is a healthy alternative to dairy. Not to be a naysayer on dairy. Dairy, I think, is, is in a lot of ways a great food, but people have more and more developed a sensitivity to it just from overdoing it. Too many uh, milk and, and cheese products really that are just hard to digest. The lactose, the milk, sugar, uh, over time the body can just, the, it's a little bit of wear and tear on the gastrointestinal system. Where now there's a growing popularity for other milks like coconut milk, almond milk, hemp seed milk, uh, rice milk, and it's hard to say if these boxed milks are really that much of a healthy alternative simply because they've been pasteurized, heated, sterilized so that they can sit in a, in a box for years. And, you know, it's okay, but here's the thing is that, remember, we've talked before about how oils and nuts and seeds are very heat sensitive. They break down in a way that produces a, a rancid oil that is irritating for the thyroid and over time can in fact uh, affect your metabolism to go down. So there's nothing better than fresh made milk out of raw nuts and seeds. I've done hemp seed milk with you guys before. It's pretty easy. Just hemp seeds straight in the blender with water. It makes a creamy base. I think the flavor could be a little better. And so that's why I am all about almond milk because it really is just all around amazing as far as creaminess, consistency, and the flavor is just totally amazing. So I am going to do this. It's so simple. Um, I think people have been intimidated by almond milk in the past because they talk about cheesecloth and different things you have to do. And no, 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 no. We're going to make this simple. So, bag of almonds. 8 ounce almonds into the blender and 8 ounces of almonds. The consistency I like, I find about 1 ounce of almonds per cup of water. So 8 cup pitcher. Just going to fill it up here. And so actually what we're going to do when we fill this up, we're going to let these almonds soak in water for about 10 hours, 8 to 12 hours, longer is not a bad thing. And what happens is when you soak any nut or seed, it soaks up that water and it will swell up to be about 50% bigger. Now, nuts and seeds have natural preservatives in, in them, so when they're out in nature in the spring, they can sit in the dirt without fungus, bacteria, insects eating them. Um, and so, basically, when we soak nuts and seeds, it releases those natural preservatives and it becomes a much more bioavailable, digestible food. Now, the Infinity Almonds are, in fact, already soaked, sprouted, dehydrated. So, we're basically just doing a similar thing, but instead of drying it, we're going to make a milk out of it. So, I would just set this on the shelf for the day, but I already soaked some almonds for you, so I'm going to dump this out here. Pretty darn easy. So you got to do this. <laughs> You'll be happy. You'll be glad you did. It really is totally amazing. Okay, so I soaked my almonds overnight. You can see they probably, I don't know if you can see, but they swelled up to about 50% uh, their original size. They increased 50% in volume. Okay, so these have been soaking in this water. I am going to pour them through a strainer. Again, this was eight ounces, and so I'm going to fill this up to eight cups. And this is a nice blender, you know, it's, it's industrial power, so it 
does more than an adequate job in really blending this down into a creamy base. A regular household blender will do, but you're going to have to blend it longer and you're also going to have to do a couple batches because these pitchers are considerably larger. So it's filling up. Hang on. And I am using filtered purified water. But I do live in Taos, New Mexico, and actually the well water is pretty good here. Okay, cool. So pitcher filled up. Now here's the thing is you can eyeball this. This is just the consistency that I use to get really close to straight up whole milk. Some people like it thicker. You can, if these are foods, you can combine them in any way that you want. If you want to use it as a creamer, make it thicker. And you can always, I suggest start making it thick and then you can always add more water to get it to the desired consistency. It's hard to take the water out. Okay, so we're just gonna blend this in. I'll let it blend for close to a minute. basically just filtering out the brown little shell coating. And we're just pouring this through a wire mesh strainer into a pot. And I used a large wire mesh strainer and pot because you get more uh, surface area at the bottom for the milk to filter through. Not necessary. You can use a smaller strainer. One like I dump these almonds into. And then I just leave it for 10, 15 minutes and the majority will filter through. You can see how it's just filtering through via gravity. Pot's already about half full. And then you can come back after you've let gravity do its work and just use a wooden spoon and just kind of Put some pressure and squeeze it out, but we don't need to do that yet. It's actually still draining big time. So, there is one little extra fun thing I like to add. Cinnamon. Why not? Hang on. I do have this bottle. I'm just going to mix this. So this is still draining, but because of decades of kitchen dexterity, I am going to fill this greens bottle and strain at the same time. Okay, that was less than perfect. We did all right. So I have this bottle half filled. I like storing it in glass. You put it in the fridge. And we are just going to simply sprinkle some cinnamon in there, eyeball it as much as little as you want. Just gives it like an extra little natural sweetness. Cinnamon and almonds get along very well together. Give it a good sturdy shake. It's hard to stir it in there because cinnamon powder is so fine it clumps easily. Ta-da! That was entirely too simple. Okay. And glass, so you can see the consistency. It's perfect, it really is, just like milk. It's not grainy at all because remember we filtered the skin. Okay. And this is pure sprouted almond milk, unquestionably the best creamer alternative you could use. So, I mean, I just drink it straight, but you could use it in a smoothie or a hot drink. 
So perfect. And if you don't have the perfect wire mesh strainer, you could first strain it with a larger mesh, which goes fast, and then you could pour it through a, a finer mesh strainer. So, but again, you really don't have to do much other than just let it sit there over the pot. Cool. Cheers to health.